The fourth railway package is about market opening in Europe. Now we see many national markets which are closed for different companies and in future the European railway market will be opened, more uh, competition, better for the traveller. You could call it Europe's railway rescue package, rescue from declining market share, safety shortfalls and rising prices. The fourth railway package is seen as a crucial step toward creating a single European railway market to drive up competition and drive down prices. Wim van de Kamp is the EPP Group's coordinator for transport and tourism. He says it was a years-long battle until final agreement now by the European Council, Commission and Parliament in so-called trilogue talks. The negotiations about this Ford railway package were very tough. The proposal dated from January 2013. Now we are in April, May 2016. So three years of heavy negotiations, especially with the member states, because the member states always take care of their individual railway companies, and now we bring it in a more European internal market perspective. In the latest step, Parliament approved the agreement with member states on the technical aspects that will create a level playing field for both passenger and freight carriers across the EU. It includes safety certification and interoperability to be overseen by the European Railway Agency. The EPP Group's Malkus Pipa is on the Transport and Tourism Committee. He says it's all about removing the remaining barriers. It's a border from Germany to the Netherlands. You have to stop for at least 15 minutes and then you have to change the locomotive. And now we uh, have the European Railway Agency, the ERA, which is responsible for the technical certification of the locomotives and of the signal systems. So it's a a big, big success for the customer. It used to be that an operator had to get certification from several national agencies, no longer with a railway package. It would also require competitive bidding for contracts. The Commission estimates that by 2025, the sector could save a half billion euros in administrative costs alone. The package also aims to ensure a skilled and dedicated workforce by allowing member states to better protect workers when public service contracts are transferred to new owners. More than 800,000 Europeans work in the sector now. Intra-European competition has already begun on a limited basis via the Channel Tunnel, for example. Malkus Pipo says the railway package means the process will now include competitive bidding. The, the technical pillar uh, speed up this, this procedures, but m more important is the political pillar. This means that we now uh, will have binding procurement procedures. So you have to apply for, for, for this uh, connection. And this is good for, for the customers, it is uh, good for the prices, good for the speed of, 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 of the service. So it's a success for, for the European railway customer. The package is part of the Commission's priority for a fairer and deeper internal market and for more sustainable transport. By gradually opening markets, it aims to attract more investment and innovation in the rail sector. Final parliamentary approval is expected in autumn, and the package is to begin taking effect in December 2019. But the European Railway Agency is to begin monitoring national safety authorities immediately when the package is published after the vote. Find out more about the activities of the largest political force in Parliament by checking eppgroup.eu. Thanks for watching, and see you again soon.